This is DJI Mavic 2. They just announced two new models and they both look pretty insane. I'm Ben from Authentech, let's check them out. Now first up, the two new models announced, the Pro and the Zoom. Both versions have some crazy impressive specs and unique features on each. Make sure you subscribe for all my hands-on reviews and comparison videos coming soon. Now first let's cover the Mavic 2 Pro. It has an amazing one inch camera sensor. One of my old favorites, well hang on. One of my old favorites is the Phantom 4 Advance because it has a one inch camera sensor. Its footage and photos were incredible. Unfortunately, this isn't very small and compact. I couldn't just toss it into my backpack and go for a scoot and grab some shots. But to have that one inch camera sensor in something this small and portable is going to be incredible. They partnered with Hasselblad on this new camera. It has an adjustable aperture lens, shoots 20 megapixel still photos, which by the way, I got my hands on a few high res images. Here they are zoomed in and they're looking good. In video, it also shoots 10-bit D-Log M color profile. This is good for advanced dynamic range and in-depth color grading and post. Having this sort of premium camera attached to a portable drone is gonna be awesome. And now onto the Mavic 2 Zoom. It can create 48 megapixel still photos. It features a 2x optical zoom that's equivalent to a 24 to 48 millimeter lens. Now this opens up a lot of fun and new creative shots. For one, when you zoom in like that, it compresses the foreground and background together, creating a more unique effect that's pretty uncommon with most drones. It also has a hybrid focus system, saying it'll auto lock and hold focus onto your subject. This will be important to test. Also with that zoom, we can now capture dolly zooms, just like we could on this pair NFE drone I recently reviewed. It's basically zooming the camera in as the drone pulls back or in reverse. It's zooming in as the drone pushes forward. Now for some other fun and sweet features they both offer, first up is hyperlapse built right in. Now hyperlapses are basically moving time-lapse shots. They're super dynamic and fun to watch. What's nice is they actually offer four different hyperlapse modes, all with one little tap. There's free, circle, course lock, and waypoint. If we're creating an aerial hyperlapse, battery life is going to be important, and they've stepped that up here as well. Both new drones say they have a flight time up to 31 minutes. Max speed is super fast, rated at 72 kilometers per hour, or that's about 44 and a half miles per hour. You know I'll be doing some speed testing with my radar gun once I get my hands on testing. Both quads pack the new OcuSync 2.0 technology, which they say can go up to eight kilometers or almost five miles while maintaining a full HD video feed on your screen. That's just insane. Now, of course, you should always stay within line of sight of your quad. So even more importantly in my book is the big test to see how well that new 2.4 and five gigahertz auto switching signal works in high congestion areas, since both those frequencies are getting pretty overcrowded nowadays. One big feature, the new Mavic 2 has omnidirectional sensing, which is awesome. We, the community, have been asking for this for a long time. This means that there's sensors facing in all directions, forward, back, left, right, and then up and down. Now here's my question. They say the side sensors, the left and right ones, are only available in active track and tripod mode. I'm not sure why. So what you're saying, if I'm flying in manual, safe, slow mode, and I'm strafing left or right, and there's a big object in the way, is it still gonna crash right into it even though it sees it? I'm not sure. Stay tuned as I'll be looking more into this soon. If you have any more info, let me know down in the comments. Overall, these new Mavic 2s look really cool, and if you stick around, I'll be posting a lot more Mavic 2 videos here in the near future. Which one are you most excited about, the Pro or the Zoom? Let me know down below. Huge thanks to DJI for sending me the sample footage, and thank you guys for watching. Until I see you next time, let's live authentic.